Hey everybody, this is card two for today. I had two cards and this one is featuring some paper tray ink, but mostly the Lawn Fawn cute little spider web and spider. And it's a pretty simple looking card, but there's some things you can do to really make it kind of a wow card. And you could use the same design for anything. I'm using the Martha Stewart scoring board. And instead of scoring a card, I am actually creating a border for this square. This is a three and three quarter inch square of smoky shadow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I am scoring it at about a half inch from in from each side. So you can see there, just going over it a couple times to get a nice impression. And I've gone around all four sides. And then if you turn it over, you get that really nice um, kind of debossed look. So I'm going to set that aside now that I have that done. And I'm going to take some Versamark. This is the Dazzle Frost ink. It has a little bit of shimmer and shine to it. Water, it's just a watermark ink, so it's just going to darken. I'm going to use that paper tray ink little saying that I just pointed to. I'm going to ink it up. And then I'm going to stamp that right in the center of my embossed part of my card, or my piece of cardstock, rather. And it's not really, you know, out there and dark, and you can't see it really, really well. As it dries a little bit, you'll be able to see a little bit more. I just wanted a little something fun in the background. And now I'm going to take some white daisy ink from Close to My Heart, and it's just a really great white ink. And I'm going to ink up the Happy Halloween web from Lawn Fawn. This is from their Heebie Jeebies stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it right over that text. And you can see that the white really pops, especially on this gray. But I found this ink is just a really great white ink. The only thing you want to be careful of with this particular ink is that it stays wet a long time and so it's really easy to smear it. I actually messed up the same process before I uh, redid it here. So I'm taking the little spider now. I'm going to stamp him using the same white ink. He's also from the Heebie Jeebie stamp set from Lawn Fawn and he's just super cute. I think those are really fun. And here you can see that how the background kind of shimmers a little bit and how that text just adds a little bit of fun to the card. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to dress up the spider just a little bit. So I always like to add little googly eyes on things like this. I think they add a fun touch and also add just a little bit of interest. So I have some pretty teeny tiny ones here. I'm just going to put them on with a little bit of diamond glaze. You see his kind of crazy eyes there? Just adds a little bit of fun to the little stamped image. Um, I'm going to use a couple more of the stamps from the Heebie Jeebies stamp set. I'm going to ink those up with the white daisy ink from close to my heart as well and stamp those on the inside of the card. I really like adding a little something to the inside of the card. And here I've cut a piece of orange zest paper tray ink card stack just slightly larger than this three and uh, three quarters inch square that I use for the front just to give it a little bit of a mat. And I'm Wrapping some orange zest satin ribbon, also from Paper Tray Ink, around the top of the card. I'm going to just tie it in a bow there on the front and then add a button to the center of my bow. So there's what it looks like. I'm going to sew a button on. I didn't video that. That wasn't really all that exciting. Then I added a little adhesive to a four and a quarter inch square card, also made from that Smoky Shadow Paper Tray Ink cardstock. And there is the finished card. For more information, please visit my blog at www.nicolemagork.typepad.com on October 7th, 2010. Thanks for watching.